in section 3.2.5 we continue um, practicing to write the flow charts and find some sides and measurements and similar triangles using the three methods that we have already or the three shortcuts that we have already found one of those was angle angle the other was side 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 similarity and the third one was side angle side similarity I've put a small diagram of what their flow charts look like in angle angle you have to show that one pair and another pair of corresponding angles are congruent or the same and then you can write your similarity statement in side 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 we're going to have to find that three pairs of corresponding sides in the triangle have the same zoom factor then we can show that they then we can say that they're similar side angle side we had to show that two sides two pairs of sides uh, corresponding sides had the same zoom factor or scale factor and one set of angles was the same or congruent and that angle had to be between those two sides okay in the first problem they gave you the triangles at the right but they didn't give you the flow chart that I've put here and so we're going to look a little bit at this really quick because we've got a lot of problems to do and what we see look at the information that you have they've given you some two sides and an angle makes it a good candidate for side angle side but let's just see if we can find something that might match up the three might match with a six and the eight with the sixteen and that's what they've done they've linked six up with three as corresponding sides and found its zoom factor to be two they've linked sixteen up with eight and found its zoom factor to be two and so that part of side angle side works and the angle between these two sides on both of them is 40 so they draw the conclusion that triangle ABC is similar to KLM now if I were writing this similarity statement I would want to make sure that, that I did this right A the angle on the sh side with the shorter corresponding side um, should match up with K and of course the 40 degree is going to be B and L and then the only one left is C and M it needs to be written with the letters corresponding to each other that way in the next problem they wanted you to match them up I'm just going to show you here some shortcuts we're not going to go through a lot of it but I just want to show you some elements in A they give you two angles good chance that we're going to use angle angle for this one we the only other one that really has two angles that we can tell is this one but the angle numbers are different so we're going to use our knowledge of the inside of triangles to see what these angles are let's see 90 and 36 126 we take 180 and subtract 126 and we get that the remaining angle must be 54 now it matches up to these two really well I know that angle A is going to match up with angle K and angle B is going to match up with angle J and so these two right here are connected by angle angle similarity I didn't write your flow chart for them, but that is something that you will want to do. On the next one, I'm given two sides and an angle. I'm looking here, and that might make it a good candidate to go with this one. It's nice, I look, the angles match up 110. I've got two sides that match, 5 and 5, and 3 and 3. So I'm going to say that these two match up and they are going to match up by side angle side similarity the last one looks like they're going to do side 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 this has these has this has two measurements of three and this has two measurements of six if I put those I'm going to get six over three six over three 
and the other one I would get 4 over 2, matching these two sides up. All of those equal a scale or zoom factor of 2, and so I know that these two here are going to connect, and I'm going to be able to prove that by side, side, side similarity. Now remember that you will want to draw your flow charts like this for those, but this gives you a little bit of a start on how you're going to do that. They gave us one more example problem to work. And they say, examine the triangles at the right. Are these triangles similar? If so, make a flow chart justifying your similarity. They have found, just as we lined up, that they didn't have enough information to do side, side, side because they didn't have this side. And they can't find it using proportions until they've proven it similar. They didn't have enough angles for angle, angle, but they did have one, so they, they decided to try side, angle, side. So the 47 matches with the 47. If you put 8.4 over 4.2, you get a scale factor of 2. 16.4 over 8.2, you get a scale factor of 2, which gives you this conclusion that RUN is similar to CAT. Charles has CAT is similar to RUN as is a conclusion of his flow chart. Lisa has NRU is similar to TCA as her conclusion. Who is correct? Let's see, we already know from our flow chart before that, that Charles is correct. Let's see if Lisa is correct. N should match up with T. And in this statement it does. R should match up with C. And it does. And U should match up with A. And it does. So both of their conclusions are correct because they've, they've put the correct corresponding angles and segments in the right order to be used. So you can have them in different orders. Okay. Are CAT and RUN congruent? Remember that for similar triangles to be congruent, they have to have a scale factor of 1. But ours does not. And so our conclusion is that no, they are not. And the reason the scale factor is not 1, equal to 1. Okay. The last one, find all the missing side lengths and all of the angle measures. Okay. The angle measure is going to be the easiest. We know that 103 and 47 are going to add up to 150. That means that the remaining angle has to be 30. So angle T equals, the measure of angle T equals 30. Okay. The remaining side, we know that it has a scale factor of 2. So if we take 12.2, it's a scale factor of 2 going this way, so if we divide this by 2 going the other direction, we'll get this as 6.1. And so the remaining side, AT, will equal 6.1. Now, the other angles here are pretty easy to go because they're corresponding and because they're similar. We know what those are. And that is the primary things that we did. There was one problem where they asked you to go and find some measurements on the triangles and you had to use the proportions and we will leave that for you.